This year, we meet to honor our 2022 Saharov Prize laureates, the brave people of Ukraine, represented by their president, elected leaders, and civil society. Ukrainians who have already fought hard and sacrificed so much for their freedom and our values. It marks uh, the 293rd day of war in Ukraine. We have witnessed the inspiring resistance of ordinary citizens making the ultimate sacrifice to delay a column of tanks. Senior citizens standing up to face down Russian troops with nothing but pride as their weapons. Brave women forced to give birth in underground metro stations. To these people, the message from Europe has been clear. We stand with Ukraine. We will not look away. The Ukrainian people are not just fighting a war of independence, but fighting a war of values. The values which underpin our life in the European Union and that we have long had the luxury of taking for granted each and every day. We often speak about democracy, freedom, liberty, as if they were some abstract concepts that do not really translate into much in practice. But the ability to vote for who we believe in, to read independent journalism, to assemble and to say what we want to say, to disagree and dissent, to pursue whatever gives us most happiness in life, to live and love as we choose without consequences, these are what democracy, freedom and liberty mean. And the Ukrainian people deserve to have that too. This is, why, this is why I went to Kiev to assure President Zelensky and everyone in the Verhofna Rada that this European Parliament will stand alongside Ukraine in this fight. This is why we sent financial, humanitarian and military aid to Ukraine and why we will continue to send more. This is why we adopted eight and soon nine hard-hitting packages of sanctions against Putin and his enablers and continue to amplify your calls to have Russia pay for its war crimes. This is why we granted Ukraine EU candidacy status and defied every cynic who thought our unity would not hold. And dear friends, this is why today we are awarding the European Parliament's most prestigious prize for freedom and human rights to the brave people of Ukraine, represented by their president, elected leaders and civil society, because once again, we mean it when we say that we will stand in Ukraine's corner. And I know that we will have to continue doing more. But let's today award serve as a reminder of our unwavering support and let it be dedicated to all those brave Ukrainian women and men on the ground, to all those who have welcomed with open hearts into our homes, and to all those who have lost their beloved family and friends. And I know that the brave people of Ukraine will not give up, and let me assure you that neither will we. Slava Ukraini!